Hey everybody, this is Jake Garcia. Today I'm going to discuss with you an interesting hack to get your applications to rotate faster when you have views that are hidden. So um, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So this is an application that we're developing for one of our customers. And what I've done here is rendered what I like to call an article view. Now when the article view is rotated or the, the uh, iPad is rotated, the side box here should disappear. And what we're noticing is that it, even on the simulator, which is somewhat accelerated relative to the iPad, we're seeing this weird boxing or chunking effect. And the reason that is, is because the orientation has to make it an effect on the views that are underneath as well as the view that is in front. So every view that is bound to the DOM will basically receive that orientation change event. Now this rotation was actually a lot slower using Sentitouch 2's um, event listeners for the viewport and I had our des designer Dave Ackerman actually change it up and use native CSS. What we've learned is CSS is a lot faster. It actually gets the rotation change event a lot faster than the browser itself with JavaScript. So this is about as fast as we could get it without hacking some things. So if we inject the hack, if I go to this section here where Let's get this back in view. When the article is shown, one second afterward, we're going to execute this method on article show. We're actually going to remove the DOM for the entire main view. Okay? So this is actually technically a child of the viewport. And the reason you want to remove that is because when the rotation happens, the event will be fired but since this isn't in the DOM a reflow will not occur therefore in theory it should be faster now we have to uncomment the section where we eject it inject it back into it so we're basically taking the main views DOM and injecting it back into the parent that is the viewport so let me go ahead and save this refresh now the DOM had been removed, and if we rotate, we should see immediate changes in reflow. A lot faster. To compare, let's comment the code out that removes a DOM. That is, the carousel and everything else will remain in the DOM. So this stuff will remain as we rotate when the article is shown. Look at the big difference. Now we can actually see the, the difference in performance in the devices as well, which is what led to the screencast. So this is somewhat experimental, looks like my ID took the crap, awesome. But again, we recommented out the uh, section that removes the DOM, rotate, near instantaneous, a lot, lot faster. So we could say that this technique actually works pretty well. So the process is very simple, if you are navigating an item into the view, or in overlaying basically and you expect users to interact with that which I do expect users to interact with this view then you, we remove the DOM when the user presses the back button here we re-inject it and it works it's a lot faster so that's pretty much it happy programming guys